United Nations agency says none of the medical facilities in northern Gaza are operational as Israel continues its offensive there. UNRWA is calling for a temporary ceasefire to allow people to leave. The Israeli military claims Hamas militants have been regrouping in the area. Jennifer Tierney from Médecins Sans Frontières Australia says the most vulnerable people are being affected the most by the lack of basic supplies. There are 36 operating hospitals, health facilities in Gaza at the start, and now there are just a handful, and Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, were working in two health facilities. We are particularly concerned right now about the north, where there is active bombardment of the three hospitals there and on the refugee camp, Jabila camp. People are afraid to move. They're afraid to actually try to seek safety in the quote-unquote humanitarian zone, which is not so humanitarian, given it has not seen aid since October 1st. And we're particularly concerned about the 350 patients in the hospitals in the north. These are women who have just given birth, people who have just gone through surgery for trauma injuries, not people who can be transported easily and have no place safe to go. How much aid, then, uh, food or medical supplies is getting through, Jennifer? Certainly not enough. I mean, as I said, it's been three weeks since the um, humanitarian zone has actually seen aid uh, reach it. That's a million people who are not getting a sufficient amount of aid. We're talking about clean water. We're talking about food. We're talking about the basics of survival. And we're not, of course, seeing a ramping up of that, that aid at all. But this is not new. This is something that we've talked about, that I've been talking about, that we've been banging the drum about for the last year, and yet the situation is only continuing to worsen, with northern Gaza in particular being almost completely decimated down to rubble at this stage. Those people in the northern part of the territory then, you say you have uh, your workers there, local workers also working for MSF Australia, are they allowed to, to move or to leave the area at all? Is that possible? I mean, they, they are asked through evacuations, people are asked to move to quote unquote safe zones. But as we know, those safe zones have been bombarded and have been hit during this conflict. And so they are petrified to move. People are afraid to move out of Jabila refugee camp for fear of getting shot. Seven of our healthcare workers, Mesa on Frontier healthcare workers have been killed. We've seen that Oxfam workers have been killed in just the last few days. Humanitarian workers are not safe. Civilians are not safe in Gaza and have not been since the start of this bombardment. Jennifer Tierney from MSF Australia there.